Chapter 2. 
And I, brethren, when I came to you, came out with exceedingly, excellently of speech of the wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I, I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration of the spirit of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How be it? You speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of the world, nor the wisdom of princes of this world, that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the foundation unto glory, before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew. For if they knew it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But it is written, Eyes have not seen, no ears heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. to God for 
wisdom. They have a sort of wisdom which comes only from God. We cannot study theology, we cannot study it. And nothing wrong with it. But it's the Spirit of God which gives us understanding to His Word. So Paul is saying, but we know the story about Paul. We know Paul was a, a learned of the law. He was learned on the feet of Gamaliel. Gamaliel. He was a doctor of the law. And he, he knew everything concerning the law. He was fully learned. But he did not realize that Jesus came to fulfill the law. He, Jesus was the fulfillment of the law. The Bible says the law was not a prophet. Take up his cross and follow him. Jesus never made his words. 
was easy and my burden is light. So when we fully come to Jesus, he says sometimes we go through, some go through fire, some go through water. This is a pathway. If we look at the patriots and prophets, they go through many things. They, some of them through, Daniel went through the lion's den, the three Hebrew boys went through the burning fire. John, John, John went through the belly of the land. Because he did not obey what God told him to do. He, he thought he could escape from the presence of God. But we can't escape the presence of God because God is present everywhere. And that's something we have to understand. God is everywhere. Amen. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter what you trust. He's an all seeing God. He don't see like us. We only see one direction. He sees everything. And we can understand and go God. You know, I think about David, when David said against God. And when he saw a she was there and he went and there with her and there was another man's wife. And he tried to cover his sin, you know. He tried to cover his sin, sin. He didn't know God sin. But when the prophet came and told him and he realized that he was a man of God. He didn't, he didn't fight. You know, he didn't fight. He said, Lord, have mercy upon me. According to your Gate open. His chains fell off. The gate opened. And he 
Jesus as we learn. One step praying, the virtuous of sight praying, praying, Lord, help, help Peter, build for Peter. And God sends his angels and break those chains, open the prison doors, as he goes to the gate, the gate is found open and he goes out of walking. That's what God can do. He can do it. And Peter said, even though he knew God, even though Peter knew God because Jesus, Peter walked with Jesus all three and a half years of his ministry, Peter knew God, he knew Jesus, he knew the power, he saw what Jesus could do, he saw how Jesus could the multitude. He saw Peter, oh Jesus, open the eyes of the blind. He saw Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead. Peter saw all these things. But he was in prison. And the virgin prayed. And the angel released him. And when he came to the gate, the way they were praying for him, and knocked on the door, they did not believe. They could not believe Peter's out of prison. And Peter himself, he says, Now I know that the Lord has sent his angels to with me. We must have. Now I know they. I have had my now I know they. Peter had his now I know they. Praise the Lord. What's going on? Praise the name of the Lord and sister. How we speak wisdom among men? Verse 6. How we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that came to know. How we speak the wisdom of God in Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto his glory. You see, the thing is, when we open our hearts to God, God will be himself to us more and more, more and more. Jesus said, you can't put new wine in the water. If you put new wine in the old bottle, the new wine will burst the bottle. They have to put new wine in the new bottle. He says the castle is a new club and an old garment because the new club was went to the old garment. When we come to Jesus, we must come humble before him. We must ask him for mercy. Remember the story Jesus spoke about the two men that went to, went to, to pray? The Pharisees and the publican. Remember the publican? The publican and the Pharisees was quite confident in himself that he knew God and that he was good and he did everything good. And he said, I have, I have fast press a week, uh, I give my tithes, and I, uh, I'm not like this. I'm not like this publican anymore. So we can come and tell God. We can't tell him that. What? I fast twice a week, I get tight. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't decide to that. If we tell him God, I know it. What we can do? So, so the poor publican stand on the altar and pray. And what he said? Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. And Jesus said that publican went home to went to his house and was justified. We can ask God for We can ask God for mercy. We can ask God for guidance. We can ask God to keep us. Because God asked God to bless us. But we tell God. Not tell God what we do. No everything. He knows everything. So I want to say, you know, we're gonna be better than some meeting and we're gonna talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is not easy to do. If we we 
We are teaching ourselves. The Bible said, examine yourself. We have to check yourself now. The Bible said, examine yourself. We have to make sure, and we have taught that theory that when God comes and looks at us, we don't have nothing in the heart that we can buy. We don't have nothing money. It doesn't matter what the money do me now. It doesn't matter what they do. Me not have a body. Me mm -hmm. pray for them. Amen. If them hurt me, me pray for them. Me not have a body. And God wants us as children of God to have a body. No matter what, no matter, no matter what the body is doing. Peter said to Jesus, how many times should I forgive? Seven times? Peter said, no. Seventy times seven. Seventy times seven is four hundred and ninety. A lot, a lot of time left to forgive. It no matter what, because if we have someone in our hearts, you could preach like Paul. You could pray your we don't the floor. If we have to clean God down here, we don't. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, yes. the Lord will not heal me. Mm -hmm. God wants us, when we to come to God, He you know, says, if you have all things to go, right? Leave the gift at the altar. Go and live right with your God and come back and offer your gift. The gift of good to God. So suppose now. Suppose we're sitting in the side and there is something. We're sitting in the side and there is something. I'm going to say, 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 you think God is going to hear me? He's not going to hear me. He's not going to hear me. What you say? After God, I've met for the first time in the administration. And I've put this in the service. Otherwise, God not hearing me. So, God, the truth of God, we have to know the Lord. We have to know what the Lord is doing. We are going up. Yes. We are staying down here. Yes. We are sojourning. We are passing through here. As students, we are sojourning. This is not our home. We have here no abiding place. The Bible says that the patience of the prophets, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they were blessed by God. The increase was great. But the Bible says they seek it a city which has foundation. This world don't have a foundation. This world has no foundation. This world will pass away. The Bible says, Jesus says that this world will pass away Amen. with ferment noise. The element shall be burnt up. God don't appear, God may live. You know, I have to speak this up as a church. Not as a church, I'm going to let God come in and look at this world. God is not going to look at this world, God is going to destroy this world. So we will set our affection and things above. We must set our affection and things above. We must be humble before the Almighty God. The God who made heaven and earth. And He loves us. He loves us with an everlasting love. So he went on to say, Paul went on to say, but as I as it is written. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered 
dirigir su reino de educación. So with our eyes, we can see. With our ears, we can hear. With our hearts, we can perceive. What God has prepared for them that are not here. But you can we imagine the blessing that God has in support of us? When Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me because of God. He's God. If you believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus is all over to us. We love 
Jesus did nothing. And He has promised us. He has promised us to take us home. You know, looking at the world the way the world is now, Jesus spoke about the wars and the rumors of wars, pestilence in diverse places. Jesus spoke about all these things. Right now, if you look at the world, the world is on fire. The world is in, on fire. That's why there's trouble everywhere. There's nowhere, there's nowhere that's safe now. Everywhere you look, there's trouble. Africa, Asia, Middle East, Europe. Don't you think Jesus is coming soon? We get a lot of bad news these days. But we have one thing to hold on to. Jesus is coming soon. It's good news, brethren. It's good news. Jesus is coming soon. And so, let us, let us have our oil in our vessel and let us have spill oil and when it comes, you know the Bible says, they shall be a Behold, the Bible will come it. Go ye out to meet you. We talk about the five eyes, we should be 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 the five eyes, we should But my word 
my word will not pass away. He said it. Heaven and earth, the earth we know, the heaven we see, will pass away. But his word stands forever. So now I thought say, stand in our promise of our presence. Stand in our promise of our presence, my Lord. Through all the ages, let his praise be seen. Glory in the highest, and we shall be seen. Stand in our promise of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Shall we stand? Stand in our promise. I am so 
Sending on
in Jesus' name. Let them go, Lord, release the joy that is unspeakable in their hearts. Let them receive the wisdom of God, the joy unspeakable, the promises of God's glory. And at the end, say, it was good for us to be in the house. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we bless Miss Thompson and his dear wife and Rose for coming today to lift up our spirits, to participate in this communion. Thank you, Lord. Go with them with chariots of fire ahead of them. Hallelujah. And bring them to the same thing. We give thanks to the Lord for the congregation. We give them all to come Amen. into this place. I pray, O God, that you will meet their needs. Open doorways, which they thought was close to them. And then they give them a double portion. Yes, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.